So you want to be a crime scene investigator. Welcome to the College of New Jersey. Since CSI, Bones, and a dozen other crime scene investigation shows hit the airwaves, record numbers of students have been interested in pursuing college training in forensic science. This is a good thing because people are becoming interested in the practical use of scientific principles and are more interested in science in general. Unfortunately, many colleges created forensic science degree programs from existing courses in which students will learn a little chemistry, biology, criminal justice, statistics, a little of many things, but when they graduate, they cannot get a job in forensic science because they don't know enough about one area of science. Some state labs make it clear that they will not hire students with degrees from such programs. You should understand that the current interest in forensic science is a career goal, and to get there, you need to define your educational goals. Understand that most often, crime scene investigators are state police, who are first at crime scenes. Often, investigators are only sent to a crime scene if it is a high-visibility crime. It would be great if there were a lot of jobs for CSIs that were as exciting as those on TV. In fact, most forensic scientists are experts who work in a lab specializing in an area such as trace evidence analysis, gunshot and bullet analysis, DNA analysis, toxicology, and blood spatter analysis. To become an expert in an area of forensic science, you need to be trained in one of the fundamental sciences, so most people hired by crime labs have degrees in chemistry or biology. Five years ago, the decision was made at the College of New Jersey to create a program in forensic chemistry. We did this by creating a specialization, a set of courses taken in addition to a complete chemistry program. Some students complete just the BS in chemistry program, some take one or two forensic chemistry courses, and some take the complete set required for the forensic chemistry specialization. In this way, graduating students have all the options of other chemistry majors, pursuing jobs in industry or graduate school, or they can highlight their extra training in forensic chemistry. Some students then go on to get a master's degree in forensic chemistry, which makes them very marketable. Students who chose to get a BS degree in chemistry with a forensic chemistry specialization do so in four years. So if you are a high school student considering a career in forensic science, we'd encourage you to first consider getting a degree in a basic science such as chemistry. Along the way, if you can take some courses in forensic science or forensic chemistry while in college, it will just make you more marketable. If you're interested in forensics, but are not into science, you should consider a career in criminal justice, which deals with social issues of crime and the law. Whatever your interest, we wish you luck in the pursuit of a quality education, and we hope that you will consider the College of New Jersey in Ewing, New Jersey. My name is Dr. John Allison, and I'm a professor of chemistry, as well as the director of the Forensic Chemistry Program at the College of New Jersey. Thanks for visiting. I hope this was informative for you. Please feel free to visit our website for more information.